A South African rapper, aka Diaz Bonaboy, to fulfill his promise to beat him up, especially in his own country, as Bonaboy is set to attend the show in South Africa. Bonaboy swore on Gambo's grave that South African rapper, aka, should have a big security when they cross paths, after his tweet suggesting xenophobia. Bonaboy promised to never set foot in South Africa until the South African government worked a miracle to stop the ongoing xenophobic attacks. Mm. Hmm. Okay, so my take on this is, um, Bonaboy, first of all, you're the giant of Africa. If you say something, keep, keep to your, to your word. words. Yeah, mm -hmm. because um, first of all, you say you're not going to go to South Africa. We have the likes of Tiwa Savage who cancel their concerts you know, and other people. Who basket did, mouth. Yeah, basket mouth. They all cancel their, con um, their concerts or their shows in South Africa mm -hmm. based on the xenophobic attacks. And then Bonaboy was one of the people that, that was, was really, strongly, really, yeah, you know. Yeah, um, outspoken about the xenophobic attacks attacks saying especially when it um, came to AK mm. it was really against AK attacking him about his tweets about mm. the football match between Nigeria and um, South, South Africa, Africa. Mm. and um, Nigeria lost to South I mean yeah South Africa lost, lost to, to Nigeria, Nigeria. and um, AK had some things to say and people didn't take it lightly and they brought that tweets back when the xenophobic attacks started mm. right and then now Bonaboy was saying that, oh, with all these things, AKA should have a big security, he's going to do this, he's going to do that. So right now I'm saying put your money where your mouth is because Period. it's not like you're putting your money where your mouth is. Mm -hmm. So if you're going for a show out there, we would actually like to see what Bonaboy is going to do because if it's all talk and no action, then, bro, are you really um, the giant of Africa? When I saw this, I was just very... Because Bonaboy is somebody that I really like and respect. Mm -hmm. So I was very disappointed that he would think that he wants to have a show in South Africa. After coming out to say that you will never set your foot in South Africa until their government do something about it. I mean, there are fresh um, xenophobic attacks going on right now. You can, you can even use the opportunity to speak against it again and say, because of this reason, you're still cancelling your own show. But mm -hmm. instead, you're going ahead to to that same country that you said you would never set your foot there and after swearing on gambo's grave you now go to that shall not do anything to it it sounds again. like money costs nonsense in this case <laughs> because this one is not money stop nonsense i mean i think um they must have offered him a, a prize that he cannot resist mm. and then he's now going for the show no but, but i mean he should think about his own um dignity if you're not keeping to your word, I mean, why should I respect uh, you? In his defense, um, the South African president sent an envoy to Nigeria to actually apologize to Nigerians. We've had Nigerians being um, brought back to Nigeria um, mm. um, from South Africa after the xenophobic attack. So, um, in his defense, he can say that, okay, something is being done. now. But I mean, we have we're fresh things. attacks going on right now. Yeah, but so, uh, at the words. end of the day, the president has apologized. So I'm not saying in the, 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 it's not that I'm supporting <laughs> Bonner. Don't think I'm on Bonner's side because oh. I'm very disappointed that he's actually going to headline a show mm. in South Africa after all that talk. Bro, you don't talk if you're not going to you take know. action. Do you understand? If you know that it's all about the money, if you know this is business, look, Tiwa Savage lost a lot of money I by mean. not performing um, at that concert, right? right? Um, so if it's about the money, then... What are we really fighting for? Mm. Are we fighting for money or are we fighting for justice? Are we fighting for what is right or are we fighting for what well, we, think we think is good is for good us? For, yeah, because I think now this is you being selfish, selfish Bonaboy. Right. Boy, I totally and I'm agree not with even you. going to lie about that. I mean, um, let's drop Bonaboy and face the other brother. He needs to calm down, so you get you don't have to like no, if i was okay i would say the same thing because if after you have told me such things like oh the next time we cross part better have a big security there's this this that mm. i'm not gonna come to your country and aka clearly told you then stay in your country mm. and then you're not coming to my country after you don't run your mouth and you think i'm just gonna lay back and you'll be like oh brother boy the guy said he's going to attend the show that he would love to attend the show and see him lay his hands on it so let's it's see what's in going his to country happen. and if i have seen a lot of tweets, um, South Africans tweets saying, okay, I think this is when we take down the giants of Africa. This is when, like, I, I just hope that the concert, if Bonaboy is going to finally attend. Maybe David will keep Goliath to... in this <laughs> 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 You know, we never can tell, but and they should not solve all this. We already have so much violence going on around the world right now. They should not it's part of the hip-hop culture anyways. I don't think, I don't think um, we should keep um, the violence as part of hip-hop culture. I mean, there are other things that can happen and they don't have to kill each other or go really 
violence with each other.